Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. And let's get right into it. Welcome back to another vlog. I am doing my makeup right now because I'm getting ready to film a video. I just did a reel on some skincare products and now I'm getting ready to do a video that was requested by one of you guys, if you're watching. Um, I don't remember her name, but she requested that I do um, the Notorium products. Did a few reviews on some Notorium skincare products and she asked that I do a video just kind of letting you guys know the products that I still use that I talked about that I first started using because apparently there's lot, not a lot of videos here on YouTube talking about that particular brand so I'm gonna do that and I'm doing my makeup I just did my brows I use the CoverGirl brow pencil which is my favorite you guys have seen this before this is the CoverGirl um, ultra fine brow pencil and I love it. It's my favorite. I love it because the point is thin. And then I used um, the Pore Professional by Benefit for my primer. And now I'm going in with the um, Lip Bar Just a Tint Skin Conditioner. It has SPF 11 and Hyaluronic Acid. I'm in the color Caramel Delight. I asked you guys about that um, if you wanted me to do a review like and demo and you guys said yes. I just never got around to doing it. Um, so I don't know if I should still do it or not since I'm kind of doing it right now. So I probably won't. But it does give you a good coverage for a tint. And I'm probably not in the best lighting just how where I'm stationed. But this is not a makeup tutorial. So... Um, that was one layer on this side. So this is my skin without the tint. This is my skin with the tint. So you can totally see the difference. And I don't have to use too much of this, you guys. It's kind of like, you know, use how much you think you need or to your liking, I guess. Um, I don't know where this came from, y'all. My skin has been doing so good. And I it, it's, I was doing my skincare the other day, like getting ready to do my skincare, and it was a white head. I'm like, no. No, no, no. This is not where we're at. But that just lets me know when my skin starts doing that, you guys. It lets me know that um, it's time to see my facialist or my esthetician. And... It's crazy. It's like my skin knows that it's close to time. I have an appointment on the 20th. Actually, I have an appointment for a chemical pill. Um, but I'm supposed to be doing another video, like another, uh, like a makeup video, like a makeup related video for a brand. They haven't sent the product yet. So I'm trying to wait, but I mean, if they don't send it by the time, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my chemical pill because I held off at my last appointment not getting it because I had to do that merit video. Um, and when you have a good chemical pill, you can't put stuff on you know, your face. So um, I couldn't do it last time, so I skipped it. And if they don't send the product before, like by the time I go, then I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm just not going to, I'm just gonna get, do my, my chemical pill because chemical pills are best done when it's cooler out. Um, so, and this sponge is from e.l.f. It is so good. It's total face sponge. You can use it wet or dry. I always use mine wet. But isn't that a pretty color? And the coverage is so pretty. And it's very lightweight, you guys. Next, for my under eyes, I go in with, y'all haven't worn makeup in a long time. Um, well, last time I makeup, we went to a wedding. That was last month. But before that, I haven't really worn it in a long time. But this is the NARS. Medium deep, it's the orange color corrector. I just kind of go under like that because I have dark circles and I need to cancel 
those out before I go with my concealer and I go right here. I don't go right under my eyes. I was taught that by a makeup artist in Ulta. When you use concealer, don't go right underneath the eyes because it creases. That was something that I was uh, experiencing. And I always thought it was the concealer. I'm like, is it the concealer that I'm using or what? Because I can't like keep my under eye from creasing. It's not smooth, you know? It wasn't smooth and I didn't like that. So I'm gonna go with a little more. I took the kids to school this morning, did our skincare reel, and now I'm doing, getting ready to do, I'm vlogging and getting ready to do this skincare video. Um, and that is pretty much my day because after I do my video, I'll have to run an errand or two and then it'll be time to pick up the children or CJ from school. Kaylee has to stay after for basketball, but um, parenting um, afternoon activity will begin. So the actual concealer I'm going in with Lancome. This is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer, and it's in the color, I think it's Biscuit. It says Bis In, but I think it's Biscuit. I'll link it down below for you guys. But I do like this, um, I'm about to say Skin Tint Concealer. This is the only concealer I really use right now. It's really good. And again, I don't put it directly under my eye because of uh, the creasing issue. And some of you may be able to do that, but I crease. Anyway, I just bring the concealer up. Just dab it on up instead of placing it right under the creases of my eye. And the same on this side. Oh, I was gonna wash my hair today. That's what I was gonna do. I think I'm still gonna do that if I can do it before or after I film this video. My hair needs to be washed. I think I'm gonna do some flat twist. My powder to set that, I like to use a Fenty Beauty. This is in Honey Dip. It's the Pro Filter Powder. And I just use a little bit, you guys, like small, small amount. I don't normally use this brush, but I don't know where my other brush is. So we're just gonna go with it. And I just use a little bit again, because powder also um, makes me crease. Guess it's just how my under eyes are made, y'all. I don't know. It's my, um, Tinted uh, situation also. Again, if this lighting sucks, I'm sorry, but. And for blush, I love blush, and this is so jacked, but it's Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I probably should not be using this. It's probably super expired, but this is about to get real ghetto right now. But I'm about to use the same brush. Don't judge me. Okay, I need new brushes. And I should have picked up, um, when I went to Ulta recently, they had a sale on the Morphe brushes. I don't know why. When I'm creating content, sometimes I'm like, not thinking. I'm just like thinking of filming or whatever. And I should have definitely gotten, I'm using these two shades. Um, the brush set, I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm gonna go back and get it too. And I was just like, I don't know. But this um, blush does have heavy pigmentation, so you wanna be careful when you're going in with it. It doesn't look like it at first, but I can put it on more and more. And then you walk out the bathroom, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> if you guys can really see it good, but that's okay. Um, sometimes I like to come up to my forehead with it just to bring some color there. And then, I like to go in with the Fenty highlighter. This is the Fenty Beauty. It's um, the Kilowatt, so the duo, Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And I use the, which one do I use? The Hustler Baby color, so pretty. And this brush I love, this is Morphe brush. And I just put it, look at that, so pretty. Gotta be real careful because it's pigmented like a mug. Ooh, I'm gonna have to blend that out. 
So one thing I do do, if I know that my highlighter is doing the most, I'll take my beauty blender and just blend it out where I feel like I did too much. And I just do my, the bridge of my nose, which is my favorite part to do my highlighter. And I just blend it out because you can get real, it can get real scary if you don't blend it out. Do my lip. Mascara, this is the one that I picked up that I showed you guys in the last vlog. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I love this mascara. I haven't used it in a very long time, but I remember when I first started using it, it was a few years ago. I was blown away because it's so good. It's so good. So that's what it looks like. And this is what the brush actually looks like. Not too fat. It's perfect. So I'm gonna do this Try to do it with you guys. But look at that. And look at that. Lashes, no lashes. Lashes, no lashes. I mean, the mascara speaks for itself, you guys. It's so good, I'm telling you. Okay, my lashes are done. I hope you guys can tell. This look really good. And I'm not a falsies girl, mainly because I don't really know how to put them on. Second, I just don't have the patience or time to do that. Uh, for my lip, what am I gonna wear for my lip? I don't know. I'm gonna go with the lip liner. This is Minted Cosmetics in Bear. I love this lip liner. Really like. I'm trying to adjust you guys the best that I can. Are you guys more of lipstick like mattes or more glossy girls? Let me know in the comments because my go-to is always a um, glossy lip. I do like matte lips. I love like the vampy matte lips or a nice deep red. Um, but my go-to is always like a glossy lip. So this is the NYX Butterscotch Lip Gloss, y'all. It's so good. And this is Madeline, so it's more pinky in this one. Also, y'all know this, but it's in that closet and I just don't feel like going to get it. And it's like. Okay guys, I'm all done filming for the day. Well, the video that I needed to film for YouTube, but I want to give you guys an update on my little Christmas decor. I said I wasn't gonna buy anything else for Christmas. But if I found something that I thought that would work or that I fell in love with, I would add it. So let me show you guys what I added to the mantle. How cute are these little trees, you guys? This one lights up, but I just thought this was a really cute area for them on the mantle. I couldn't find my garland like I wanted, but I needed to add something. Every time I was sitting here and watching TV, I'm like, I gotta put something here. I just thought these were really, really cute. And this one, obviously, is the same one on the other side. But I just thought they were really cute, you guys. They're the ones you find at the little dollar spot. When you walk into Target, I just thought they were really cute. And then let me show you guys my other ones. Okay, so this one is super, super cute, too. There's nothing in this one, though. I don't know why they don't have, like, a... What is it? Like, a little uh, top or bottom for this. I don't know. But I just thought it was cute. So... I put that one there and then this little gold one I thought was really cute. It looks so pretty. Um, maybe I'll insert a little video when I recorded it for my stories. But when everything is lit up, like when my candles are lit and the trees is just perfect. So I thought that's like a little Christmas corner touch to the house. So I thought, you know, why not? The update on the shelves. Still nothing on them, but I did order from Amazon last night. Hold on, let me turn you guys. I did order from Amazon last night. I'll share it when it comes, but I am, whatever, what I ordered, I'm just gonna go around what I ordered and fix up from that piece that I ordered. That makes sense. I actually ordered two things because they came together. Well, they didn't come together, but they suggest that you buy them together or suggested whatever. Anyway, it's really cute. I can't wait to show y'all, but I'm going to go around that because the inspiration of the, the inspiration I got from the picture that um, was posted on Amazon, I thought was really cute. So what I need for that, I'll probably have to go to Hobby Lobby because I think they're going to have exactly what I need to finish off 
after what comes in from Amazon, if that makes sense. So um, that is the update. Nothing's there, but it is something is on the way. And I definitely will show you guys once it comes. I'm going to make me something to eat. I'm starving and I just I need to eat. Hey guys, I'm sorry about this angle, but I don't have my tripod, which is why previous vlogs have been this angle because in the Jeep Wrangler, um, that's where the, tri the little, uh, what is it, car tripod is, and it sits up on the thing up here. In this car, the dash is different, so I don't even know if it will stick, not stick, but how it would look up there. So this is the angle, and my bad in advance. Not in advance, because I've been filming like this. <laughs> I'm freezing, you guys. It's so cold. It is 45 degrees. It's raining. It's cold. I'm over it. Um, so I'm headed to run errands. I am going to Target. I need to get a gift bag and I need gas. Great. Uh, I need to get a gift bag. Like a gift, um, not a gift bag, a gift, like a fruit basket or chocolate basket or something. I'm donating that to someone that's delivering things to nursing homes, I think she said. So I'm doing that. I need to go to PetSmart, which is right next to Target, to get Ace some food. Um, I need to go to the dry cleaners. I need to go to the bank. And uh, somewhere else I need to go. I'm waiting on Amazon packages to come in from... Uh, Amazon obviously <laughs> and uh, I'll show you guys those when I, they get here so the packages contain um, things for the shelves I think I updated you guys last time but I didn't find anything at home good so I ended up ordering a few things from Amazon and I need to finish it up with Hobby Lobby do I have time to go to Hobby Lobby today if I have time to go to Hobby Lobby today I will I kind of wanted to see what was going to come in the mail and like put it up there and then kind of like go with the flow of the picture that they showed me on Amazon, but we'll see. Um, I have not had time to wash my hair and uh, I was gonna do like a flat twist on it. Um, but there's really no point now since this weather is like it is, but I was supposed to wash it two days ago. Where am I? So the table at the dining room, the chairs are like this material and basically this color. So I need two bar stools for the island, but there's only one. So I was gonna do, my thought was just to do, let me show you guys, something like this at the bar, just because it's a little lighter than the, well, a lot lighter than the actual dark floors. So it won't be too matchy matchy and it's not like upholstery like the dining, like trying to split it up. So what should I do? Should I just do like basic wood without the upholstery look just to split it up so it's not so matchy matchy from the dining area? Or should I just go with those? I'm thinking just going with those because it splits up the dark wood and then it splits up the upholstery from the other couch I mean other chairs and I don't want to do a high back chair either I guess this would be those chairs outside the box yeah let me know I think that'd be cute though okay so remember I was telling you guys I wanted to do something different for the uh, side tables in the bedroom this is cute we only have one but maybe I can order them online we don't have a lot to put on them I mean we probably put a lamp in like our phones and stuff but how cute is that it's so different as opposed to something like that you know what i mean so cute that's cute too i like this one a lot better so i'm thinking about doing something like this on the shelves also the little faux plants because we need some greenery but in the picture that i saw on amazon it has like the little plants next to the decorations or whatever I'm putting on the shelf, the inspo picture. But these, do these look too fake? Okay, these are cute too. This is cute. 
see, I like this too. And this one, the little aloe vera plant. Doesn't look too bad. This one is cute. I think I like this better. I think I'm gonna go with this one, guys. The little snake plant. Came all the way out the jacket because it is, you know how it is when you start shopping. It's hot. I have cheese on me. That's disgusting. Okay. Um, I just ate lunch in the car because I'm close to CJ school. I had to pick him up. So I had a salad from Culver's. I don't know if where you live, if y'all have Culver's or not, but that's what I had. It was actually pretty good. It was like a um, chicken and cashew salad. A little... little too many cashews, but uh, I mean, it hit the spot. Also had some cheese curds. I hate the <laughs> the name cheese curds, but that's what it's called, and they are really good though. So I had that. I ran all of my errands, you guys. Everything I needed to do. So, hold on. Oh, Seatbelt. Don't let you out, no, because you don't have room to go. Um, I'm putting on this Milani Rose Butter Lip Balm or Lip Mask. Is it a mask or a balm? I don't know. But this is what it looks like. And it's really hydrating. Um, but yeah, I want to show y'all what I got from Target. So remember, I didn't have stockings because I couldn't find them. But I found some in the Target in the holiday section they were like 30 percent off so i bought stockings now one of my stockings ghetto because it doesn't have my initial on it because the initial got ripped off like the thing it doesn't look bad because it hangs but i never can find my initial you guys I, I i know there's not a lot of people in this world name with that initial starts with the daggone i i can't find a mug in an eye initial i can't find nothing anything that has to do with an eye that I would like to have, it is not available. So I had to get one. I mean, luckily it was one that had didn't have it, so it's fine. So everybody else has their initial except for me, which is fine. Made it back home. So we have a Target haul to do and an Amazon um, unboxing. I think everything is here that I ordered from Amazon. I don't know, I didn't look yet. So let's get into it. Target haul first that I got is this snake plant, so cute. It was $10. I don't remember if it was on sale or not, but this is really, really cute. I really like this one. I got another Christmas festive PJ. It's not a set. It's um, just the one, like the shirt pajamas. Um, and I got this one in a medium just because I don't know how short it is. I kind of want it to be a little bigger, but this was on, ooh, this was on sale also. So like I was telling y'all, the pajamas are on sale at Target. The festive pajamas. I got five of these. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. Five of these stockings. Um, this is K for Kaylee. Like I said, mine, this uh, little tassel is there, is not there. Like this string is there, but the name or the initials not there. So I just tuck it in and I won't have one, but it's what it is. Like I said, I can't find ever find anything with the I initial. So I got five of these for me, Chavis, and the boys, and Kaylee. And in this bag, I got the peace sign to, what is this? Oh, this bag, hold on. I got the peace sign that holds the stockings up. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and this was $21, it was originally $30. Yeah, it was on sale for $20. $20 and then Ace has his food back there. This is what I get him. I don't know if you guys watching have puppies, but I get him the Pro Plan Purina and it's the chicken and rice formula. My friend told me about this one because Ace used to throw up a lot, like randomly throw up. Now he does eat random stuff or did eat random stuff, but um, I think it had a lot to do with his food too because he was just throwing up too random and it wasn't food. It was like, we're not even gonna, we're not even gonna go there. But I was feeding him, he was having, his food was natural balance. So she told me about that one because her dog was doing the same thing and he does great on that. So if you have a dog 
um, and they have a situation where they throw up frequently because of their food. Sometimes dogs can itch and stuff because of their food. So like their paws. So if you have a dog and you're experiencing that, try this brand because it's really good. So once I put my, turn my lights on on those trees in the back, Christmas trees on, it'll be really, really cute. But I think they look good. I hate <laughs> that I don't have an initial. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I keep telling myself it's okay. It is what it is. But um, yeah, it's cute. Those are our stockings. CJ, what are you eating now, son? Cereal? You go to bed. It's sad, isn't it? Just act like you don't see it. Now for the Amazon haul. So, I'm not sure if this is. So, I just opened it from 10 Designs Farmhouse Collection. You guys, how freaking cute is this? Live, laugh, love. So Travis was saying, these are all blank pages too, I believe. That's so cute. Um, he wanted like something to say something up there. And he made the example of having like live, laugh, love, like three on three. So I found these on Amazon and these are so cute. So I'm gonna hang these on the, sh or put these on the shelf. Thought this was really, really cute. You can see like my vision with this. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, y'all, the Prime reminded me of something. If you guys love like romance, like rom-com, holiday movies, y'all need to go watch Something from Tiffany's on, on, on Prime Video. Is it Something from Tiffany's? I think it's Something from Tiffany's. It is so cute. I've watched it three times already. I love it. Please go watch it and let me know what you guys think. It is so cute. Such a cute um, romantic holiday movie. I love it. It's very, very cute. So, you guys watch that. So, it's three ceramic base, uh, three ceramic base set. I'm gonna take it out so that I don't accidentally drop it. I thought these would be cute with the books and the plant. That's why I say I need to go to Hobby Lobby to get more things, but I'm gonna base it around this idea. So, let me put the shelf together and I'll be right back. What do you guys think? I think that's so cute. I just have to find something at the top, but I think that it's so cute and very simple. I may need to bring the vases up a little bit more, but I think that is really cute. Let me know what you guys think. I will do this in better lighting. Um, maybe I should keep these straighter more. Ooh, out of breath, honey. That's cute. That is cute. So just, have to go to Hobby Lobby or maybe I'll order something else off Amazon, but something up there. What, what would I put up there? The shelf update is we're almost done.